Welcome to Good News TV, the channel where citizens of heaven come to feed their soul. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification so that you don't miss new organic and healthy soul food videos. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Prayer is one of the most powerful weapons God has given us. God has established prayer as the means by which we receive his supernatural help. Without God's supernatural help, we cannot live a life worthy of the gospel. Everything that differentiates Christians from the world in a christ exalting way is a work of God's supernatural grace. And God has designed that his grace flows to us through prayer. That is why prayer must be dominant, not minor, in our lives, families, and ministries. In the spiritual realm, prayer is like an atomic bomb that destroys the initiatives of the devil. In the tech world, prayer is like batteries which need to be recharged every now and then. In the social media world, prayer is like the internet which connects the heavens and the earth. Prayer is the medium through which we invite God to come into our domain to help us. In Luke chapter 5 verse 16, even Jesus Christ needed a break from the demands of his busy life to recharge his batteries and spend time with his heavenly father. The life of Christ is intended to give us examples we can follow and learn from. So even though he was God incarnate, Jesus did draw on his superpowers as the son of God when it came to facing life's challenges. Instead, when he was exhausted or burdened or in need of spiritual refreshment, he would slip away to pray. When we pray, we brought into a supernatural power and insight that can only be found in God's presence. Hallelujah. The best way to go up in this life is to always go down on your knees in prayer, just like the tree. The more our roots go down in prayers, the more our branches spring up and we bear more fruits. Prayer cannot be exchanged for anything in this world. In other words, there is no substitute for prayer. If there is any request so important in our days, it is Lord teach us how to pray. One day Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. Prayer works than anything in this world. It is the best solution the world seek. The power of prayer cannot be overemphasized. Two things the devil wants to prevent any child of God from doing is studying the scriptures and praying. The secret to becoming unstoppable in the work of life is to constantly study the word of God and pray. Prayer isn't meant to be an afterthought or a last resort when nothing else has worked. It is meant to be your guiding star, the most crucial opportunity of your day. Prayer is spending time with God. It is an opportunity which must not be taken for granted. How would you feel if you were invited to spend time with a billionaire or a president in the United States of America? We develop our personal relationship with God via prayer. God, the creator and sustainer of the universe, loves us so much and wants to spend quality time with us. Through prayer, we can bring our life into an alignment with his vision and plans. It is always a great privilege to enter into prayer with God. Prayer is necessary and vital for our life. Prayer is the antidote to daily frustrations. Prayer helps you make better decisions. Prayer brings out deliverances, healing, peace, success to mention but a few. More frequent communication with God builds a stronger relationship with Him. How often do you talk to your best friend, to your spouse, to your children? Probably more than once a week, right? 
Developing a strong relationship requires frequent communication. The more we talk to each other and have quality conversations, the better our relationship will be. The same is true with God. If you desire a deeper, more meaningful relationship with God, you need to talk to Him more than once a week. You need to have frequent quality conversation with Him. Hallelujah. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. There is a confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of him. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. According to Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 12, God has assured us that when we call on him and come to pray to him, he will listen to us and answer us. If you are in any kind of trouble or challenge, don't run to friends or family members, but instead pray. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And when you pray, believe that you have received whatever you ask for in the prayer, and it will be yours. In Jesus' name, Makondolobosu Hantarabasu Andelebe. Anyone who prays always does not fall into temptation. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer, because the Lord is near to all who call on Him, to all who call on Him in truth. And Tabada Sukayandelebe. If you who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? This is a humble request from God. Devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Pray continually. I want the men everywhere to pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or disputing. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. Hallelujah. Cry it, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, my city's true prosperity shall yet be spread, and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion, and shall yet choose Jerusalem. The number one reason a lot of people don't receive answers to the prayers. According to James chapter 4 verse 3, When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. Do your best to talk to God every single day. I encourage you to pray every day and watch all of the blessings unfold around you. Hallelujah. Beloved, you can use these prayer prompts to pray out loud or use them with your prayer journal. A prayer journal is a notebook where you write down your prayers. You can use a prayer journal to keep track of your prayers and when God answers them. It can help you to connect with God on a deeper and more intentional level. You can use any notebook, journal, planner, or a sheet of paper to get started. Ideas and prompts for your prayer journal. Pray for something you are thankful for. Pray for peace regarding a situation that has been bothering you. Pray for guidance on a decision you have been battling with. Pray for a friend you are thankful for. Pray for a loved one that needs healing. Pray for your best friend. Pray for a family member you are thankful for. Pray for a mentor or leader you are grateful for. Pray for something you want God to teach you. Pray for a goal that you haven't reached yet. Pray for and declare abundance of your life in Jesus' name. Pray for how to find your purpose. Pray for 
help in managing your finances. Pray for your spouse. Pray for advancement in your career. Pray for your neighbors. Pray for patience. Pray for discernment. Pray for your job. Pray for your education or your child's education. Pray for positive thoughts and energy. Pray for your pastor. Pray for spiritual gifts. Kabaladabo sukayan torobo su andelebelebe. Pray for self-discipline. Pray for the homeless and poor people in your community. Pray for a miracle you have been waiting for. Pray for confidence in an area you have been lacking. Pray for help to achieve your dreams. Pray for gratitude. Pray for a fear you need to face. Pray for your children. Pray for open doors and new opportunities. Pray for something that makes you feel angry. Pray for clarity about a situation. Pray to trust God more. Pray for your siblings. Pray for healthy choices. Pray for repentance and etc. It is my prayer that the spirit of prayer be activated in you now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray this simple prayer if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Dear God, I am a sinner and need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ shed his precious blood and died for my sin. I am willing to change and turn from my sin. I now invite Jesus Christ to come into my heart and life as my Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Congratulations. You are now a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Also, you have received the power to become the Son of God. You can now destroy all the works of the devil, in Jesus' name, Amen. Good news, you are now a citizen of heaven. If you haven't already subscribed, do so now. Subscribe to this channel to join fellow citizens of heaven, and turn on the notification in order not to miss new organic and healthy soul food videos.